Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy and nappy. You guys have been happy and nappy like I have been. Please check out my older videos. I have story times and I have natural hair videos. I'll put them in the cards above, so please check them out. This video is why I will never, ever, 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 ever press my hair again. I'm going to give you some background, okay? I went natural because I hated my hair. Like, I always heard, your hair is too nappy, your hair is unmanageable, I can't do your hair, your hair is too thick, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Basically, I had bad hair. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I can maybe have a little good hair, which is like bad hair. I had the bad hair, right? I got forced hair to clearly tell. So, my hair is dry. I don't know what I did to my hair, but it's dry. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it. Hopefully, when I get in the shower, the steam gets to it and makes it soft. That usually works for me, but hey, who knows? So I hated my hair a lot. I did not really know what my natural hair texture was because I never had worn worn an afro. And the most I did was a braid out, and at that time, I think I yeah, at that time I had heat uh, damage and. Um, I would, my mom would blow dry my hair every time she would like wash it and she would flush for fish braiding and cornrows. At the same time, I always had long hair. Like, I'll have people ask me like, do you have, you know, good hair? And I'm like, one time I was like, okay, so you mean good hair as in because my hair is long or good hair as in the texture? The girl literally told me the texture. I said, no, I don't have good hair. Okay, like, what? Like, but who like asked that, right? So for me, like, I had trouble liking my hair. But I feel like a lot of girls, like, were kind of raised to, I believe, that afro hair is ugly. Especially you have, like, a kinky texture. Or we're kind of raised that that hair is ugly and that you need to have, like, looser curls. But it's, it's just, which isn't true, you know what I'm saying? But that's how, that's things that can be ingrained in it. So that's kind of what I had internalized and stuff. So I didn't like my hair. So I... We get my hair pressed. I got it. First time I got my, well, mom, she would press my hair when I was younger and she would put in like the little pigtail braids. So I was getting my hair pressed from that. Then I got my hair pressed for eighth grade pr promotion and I got it pressed for my senior pictures and I got it pressed for prom. So by prom, by prom, so junior year, that's when I had like good amount of, good amount of damage. And basically all, all my hair was like damaged. Uh, I even had a perm from 3rd to 6th grade. So, I finally went uh, natural starting the second semester of my junior year. Was practically fully transitioned senior year. Then I pressed it for prom. Pressed it for prom when I did not want to press my hair. I wanted to wear an afro or wear some type of like, protective style. But, you got to press your hair. It's prom. Your hair is so long. It'll be so pretty. Press it. My dumb behind listen. I pressed my hair. And I got damaged. My hair did not revert back. And I cried. I had a breakdown. I called my mom when I was washing my hair. And I literally cried. I was like, oh my god, my hair is not reverting back. And it was like, I was just so sad. It's like, wow, why did I listen to other people about my hair? When I knew, I knew I shouldn't have pressed my hair. But I did anyway. So, that's number one. I'm not pressing my hair ever again. Because I'm not risking heat damage. Pressed hair is not worth it. I could look cute. I could look presentable with a different hairstyle. Okay, I look presentable with an afro, but hey, people got to be prejudiced. So, you know, there's that. But, pressing hair is not worth it. Two, I don't really like pressed hair. Because one, well, at least in my, in my experience, like, pressed hair does not smell good. Like, the pressed hair gets, like, wet. It would not smell good. Like it just like you get like that burnt hair smell. And even with it, even if it's not wet, when you, when you smell someone like pressing their hair, it does not smell good. I'm sorry. I don't like the, the smell of pressed hair. In my experience, it don't smell good. Okay. Third reason is because I feel like at least for me being natural for three years, I feel like it wouldn't make no sense for me to press my hair. Cause for me. My afro is just like, it's going against beauty standards that I already do not fit. You know what I'm saying? 
I fit black beauty standards. And black beauty standards should be yo afro. Afro, twists, braids, locks. Things that, you know, we actually do with, with the hair doesn't cause damage. Not, not pressed hair that... Especially like living in a place where you kind of talk, okay, your hair is like bad. It's like, then why go ahead and press your hair and kind of like co-sign the fact that natural hair, I feel, you know, it's not good. I just feel like it's just a, it's just an oxymoron. Like, at least for like me personally, that's what I feel. Other people are natural and they press their hair whenever they want and they're fine with it. But I feel like I would be conforming to beauty standards that are not made for me, that are made to, uh make me feel different and bad I you know I want to I, I don't want to be a part of that I'm gonna be over here in my black African beauty standards and I'm gonna lead a straight hair beauty standards over there okay plus I get another reasons why I don't like press hair is because I get bored with press hair like when I would press my hair I would have it out oh your hair is so long so pretty okay feeling myself with my hair okay and then after two weeks it's, it's in a ponytail because i don't feel like dealing with it like i don't feel like i can't do anything with it so i was putting it to the ponytail so i just and that's just it's not for me you know i plan to wear my afro until the day i die simple as that if you press your hair then that's fine you go ahead and you do you but for me I'm not about to do it because it ain't worth the damage. It's not as versatile. And I don't like the smell. Literally, like, when I wash my hair after it was pressed, like, I would hate the smell. I don't know what was going on. I just don't like the smell at all. But, you know, to each their own. I like afros and twists and afro textured hair. That's just, I'm just so in love with that now. Because I used to be in love with pressed hair and wanting it to perm is that for me just knowing how I used to feel about my hair I couldn't do something like pressing or perm perming my hair now knowing what I came from you see what I'm saying so I hope y'all enjoyed that video I hope it's an inspiration to those who want to go natural go natural for you embrace your roots don't be ashamed of, of don't be ashamed of them okay make your own beauty standards okay and feel them so check out my old videos and say happy nappy. Bye.